Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to the power of x multiplied by 6 to the power of x to the power of 2. This is equal to 18. So what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent a solution from here. So we have 3 to the power of x times 6 to the power of x to the power of 2. This is equal to 18. We can express 18 as 6 times 3. So the first step here is to divide both signs by 6. By 6. Remember 6 is 3 to the power of 1. So here we simplify. So that now here we have 3 to the power of x multiplying by now this is 6 to the power of x squared divided by 6 to the power of 1. This is equal to 3. Now you find 6 raised to the power of x squared divided by 6 to the power of 1. This is in the form of a to the power of n over a to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n minus m. So applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of x times 6 to the power of x squared minus 1. This is equal to 3. The next step is to divide both signs by 3 to the power of x. Then here we divide by 3 to the power of x. So this implies that 3 to the power of x simplifies on the left hand side. So that now we have 6 to the power of x squared minus 1. This is equal to now, this is 3 raised to the power of 1. Let's apply this exponent property here. So that now, here we have 3 to the power of 1 minus x. The next step from here, to solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So that you have log 6 to the power of x squared minus 1. This is equal to log 3 to the power of 1 minus x. Now you find that rog 6 to the power of x squared minus 1 and rog 3 to the power of 1 minus x. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n. This can be expressed as n rog a. Applying this power root property, then here we have x squared minus 1, then rog 6. This is equal to now we have 1 minus x rog 3. Now the next step from here, you find that let's divide both signs by rog 6. And also here we have rog 6. So let's simplify here rog 6 and rog 6 so that we have x squared minus 1. This is equal to 1 minus x. This is rog 3 divided by rog 6. Now we have rog 3 divided by rog 6. This is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which you can express as rog A to base B. Now apply this logarithm property. Then here we have x squared minus 1. This is equal to 1 minus x. This is rog 3 to base 6. So let's take 1 minus x rog 3 to base 6 on the left hand side. So that we have x squared minus 1. Then subtract here. We have this is the same thing as 1 minus x. Then rog 3 to base 6. This is equal to 0. So we have, we can express this as x squared. This is the same thing as x squared minus 1 squared, then subtract. Now, here we have minus times minus x. This is the same thing as, this becomes plus x, then minus 1. This, then here we have, this is rog 3 to be 6. This is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus 1 squared, this is in the form of a squared, the difference of two squares, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. So here we have x plus 1, then x minus 1, 
we have x plus 1, then x minus 1. Then plus here, we have x minus 1. Then rock 3 to be 6. This is equal to 0. So this implies that from here, x minus 1 is common. So we can factor out x minus 1. So that now, into the parentheses, we have here x plus 1. Then here we have plus, this is rock, 3 to base 6. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 1. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is x plus 1 plus rock, 3 to be 6. This is equal to 0. So we have x1 is equal to 1. Now, we can solve for x2 here. So x2, this is equal to, let's take plus 1 plus rock 3 to be 6 on the right hand side. So this is the same as minus 1. Then minus, here we have rock 3 to be 6. But now we can factor out negative so that we have into the parentheses. This is 1 plus rock 3 to be 6. Now, from here, x2 is minus 1 plus rho 3 to be 6. Now, rho 3 to be 6, this is the same thing as, this is rho 3 over rho 6. And this is actually equal to, this is 0 0.61315. And this implies that x here, that is x2, is the same thing as, this is minus, into the parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.61315. We have x1 is equal to 1. x2, this is equal to minus, into the parentheses, this is 1 plus 0 0.61315. And therefore, x2 is equal to minus 1.61315. So the next step from here, let's verify that these two values of x, x1 and x2, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 3 to the power of x times 6 to the power of x squared. This should give us a value of 18. So let's start with x1, which is equal to 1. Substituting 1 here, we have 3 to the power of 1 times 6 to the power of 1 squared, this should give us a value of 18. So this is 3 times 6. 1 squared is 1, so this is 3 times 6, and this should give us a value of 18. 6 times 3, this is equal to 18, and this is equal to 18. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that x1 satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is equal to minus 1.61315. So if you recall, we have 3 to the power of minus 1.61315 times 6 to the power of minus 1.6. 1, 3, 1, 5. This is raised to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 18. So, 3 raised to the power negative 1.61315. This is in the form of a to the power of minus n, which we can express as 1 over a to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 1 over 3 raised to the power of 1.6. 1, 3, 1, 5, multiplying by 6 to the power of, now, minus 1.61315 raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2, point six zero two three. This should give us a value of 18. Now, we have that this is 1 over 3 to the power of 1.61315. This is the same thing as 5.8. 8, 3, 9, then multiplying by 6 to the power of 2 points, 6, 0, 2, 3, 
this is the same thing as 105.9212. So now, if we divide 105.9212 divided by 5.8839, this is equal to 18.000. So this implies that on the left hand side we have 18, which is equal to 18 on the right hand side. So this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this implies that x2 also satisfies the equation. So x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.